Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I was requested to use a not normal gun lance build and by that I would assume that they're talking about bullet barrage so let's go do that. Now I've used this playstyle a few times, I think I've made a few videos on it as well. I can't stand the idea of gun lance only having damage every like 20 to 30 seconds and it's not even a good amount of damage, I think at max it does like 2000 which is like two reverse dashes it's not great, but I'll see what I can do here. Got to utilize your hyper armor a lot as well, just to land a bit of extra damage every now and then. You also got to utilize redirection, because redirection gives you back your wire bugs faster. So the basic idea is you spend all of your stuff, and then you get it back with redirections, and you're good to go, basically. Also brought both damage followers today, just to speed it up, because this is going to take a while. It... it 2,000 damage is not a lot to do in this amount of time that it takes. Also brought... You're also gonna miss a lot. Gonna miss a lot of bullet barrages. How did that not hit me? It didn't even block. It definitely should have... I, I don't know. But yeah, you're gonna miss a lot of bullet barrages as well, so... Be prepared for the mental warfare of dealing little damage and it sometimes missing. It's, uh, not great. Nope. Maybe hit him off that. Also chose this lad because he's a big, kind of slow lad. You get to hit him. I also brought the followers so they can get the auto mount for me because I turned it off. So we get double bullet barrages for free. It's free real estate. Poke can get that back. Do, do, do. Not putting the weapon away because I want to keep Frenzy Bloodlust. More wire bugs, there's more bullet brushes, so more chances to miss. Some damage on him. Nice and simple. Bang into another one. Hopefully the wire bug doesn't wear out as I press it. Let's go. Okay, we got the damage check. Luckily it hit the wings because that should have missed. Got out of combat sadly, so I didn't have a wire bug. Well, didn't have heaven sent. Okay, he shook it off for some reason. We take those. Shook it off again. Let's grab this wire bug. Really want the wire bugs. Oh, I should have just sent it forward. It's gonna miss. Yeah, he turned around. At least he missed. Okay, that's fine. Redirection it. Tail sweep. No tail sweep. Tail slam though. Hyper armor. We take those. Okay, we can get another one. I forgot what that does. The little thorns there. I honestly can't remember. Nope. I should have waited for him to do a follow up. Okay, he roared. It's fine. Broke his horn. Send another one because it should be there for a while. Bang. That's fine. Redirection to get some wire bugs. Shook it off. That's fine. We get some more damage. Luckily he didn't go past him. Hop forward so we can redirection it. Give me there more wire bugs. We don't get a chance yet. There. Hopefully get caught on him. Hey, we take those. Back up a bit. Should do a follow up. There. Again, hyper armor it so we don't get staggered and we get our chance to hit him. Because he definitely would have gotten the other way in time. Fine, we hyper armor. Again, hope that he drags. But he didn't, of course not. That's fine. He missed. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. He straight up missed, but we got the check, so it knocked him down anyway. Or well, one of the followers got it. Excuse me? No. Should sweep off it. Or get tired, that works too. Hit him some more. Good paralysis. From probably the switch axe and the followers, honestly. And take the free damage either way, though. Yep, rock. Decent horn break. Bang. Some more. If you're wondering why there's like one level of Frostcraft here, 
You could run, like, Frostcraft 3 on this, in all honesty. It would do okay as long as you actually sheath. But it's kind of weird, in my opinion. Because you don't want to sheath because you need to keep Frenzy Bloodlust for more wire bugs. But, uh, you could definitely run Frostcraft 3. I, I just got lazy and it's the augment I had, so never changed it. Never upgraded to 3 because I don't like using this weapon or this playstyle. I like the weapon a lot. Just not this playstyle. Because it turns it from like the most aggressive weapon in the game to one where you just sit still and wait. And then miss your damage and have to wait 20 seconds to do damage again. Like that. Fantastic. No, mate. It's gonna come back. Hopefully get caught on him. Same deal. Alright, we did. Didn't stagger him. But at least he went for one of the followers or the buddies. There. Okay. Do I have that time off that? No. So yeah, I was right to just try and armor through it and hope that he hits. Or that we don't, like, go past him. Because otherwise we don't have time. It's fine. That back. No, sir. Hopefully get caught on him. We take those. Good stagger as well. Okay. Send it there. I didn't want to run out of wire bugs. Bang. Even though we had three. Because we had Frenzy Bloodlust rolling and the, uh... What's it called? Secondary wire bug anyway. From picking it up. Into another one. Okay, most of that missed, but we take it. Do 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 do. Okay, yeah, it's not the same as uh charge blade. Charge blade you can get dragged on his face there, so you can actually land your SAEDs and whatnot. I was hoping it might be the same with this, but it's definitely not. Lost my wire bug. Definitely went to hyper armor that, but obviously it dissipated as it happens. No stagger because his horns are already broken. Go over to him, hopefully get a tail sweep. Did not tail sweep. Tail slam though, that works. Go to the right. Fine. We get roared. As I said, there's no defiance on here. You kind of just supposed to hyper armor it usually. I should have waited, because he can head slam off that. Yeah. It's alright, we got a trip. Into another one. That's fine. Bang. A second mount, jeez. We'll take that free damage any day. Might actually die off this then. I think he's like two or three away. We'll see. We will see. Should definitely go pick up another wire bug while I wait, but it's alright. So, okay, there we go. Sneak attack. Fire! Okay, he was one hit. But yeah, that was like a very ideal monster for this. And as I said, I got the followers and everything to speed it up as much as humanly possible. Because otherwise you're just sitting around waiting. As usual here is the build. Pretty much the standard, just get one skill of something on your build or on your armor pieces and you'll be good to go using a sneak attack 2 with quick sheath 2 and 2 3 slots with a 1 and here are the skills and decorations of course all the green numbers are from decorations definitely take out one stun res i don't know why i've got four there but if you wanted to screenshot there and there you can well everybody that was using a not so normal gunlands build i'd imagine they either meant this or like an iceborne shelling playstyle which would be wide gun lengths, and I really don't want to do that, because it's worse than this one. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.